Good morning, Major Archer. The following news highlights have been custom built for your special interest. They're the courtesy of Hypercast Network. For further information on any topic, a complete report is available at minor charge. Be sure to supply your regimental ID for further discounts. Reports from the front lines are grim. The Department of Mandated Colonization confirms 12 additional frontier planets have been infested by Xenome species. In spite of the arrival of massive numbers of gunmen troops, panic continues to spread among the colonists and haphazard civilian evacuations have begun to mount in direct defiance of colonial mandate. While critics warn that the outbreak of Xenome hostilities across so many fronts has stretched the fighting force to its breaking point, Gunman leaders deny these speculations. Still, despite sustained fighting over several weeks, even high echelon leaders cannot deny that losses are high. And for the first time in its history, the human species is faced with the possibility of colonized worlds being abandoned to a belligerent and predatory alien race. Watchers report several recent arrivals of gunman neural specimens to the medical intelligence facility. While complete mapping of salvaged tissue remains difficult, there are rumored to be powerful memories of a massive alien queen correlated between neural samples rescued from several different worlds. Experts discount such claims as fearful conjecture, pointing out that it is difficult to separate fact and fantasy when charting mnemonic traces. They use the same point to dispel the far wilder claims of bloodthirsty creatures made entirely of shadow, which have recently caused much upset among colonial conscripts. Last evening, Dr. Varkas Calhorian, civilian scientist and founder of the Citizens of Full Disclosure, called a press conference to state his belief that the xenomes have been genetically modified and deliberately placed on inhabited planets by an unknown faction. I demand an investigation by a neutral party of all records related to the infestation, including a complete review of documents I believe unlawfully suppressed by the Department of Colonization. Administrators who could have contained this threat when it was negligible chose to sacrifice colonial lives rather than endanger their profits. DMC officials declined to respond to Dr. Calhorian, except to once again invoke the classification of all such documents as top secret under the Predatory Species Act. Lawyers for both sides continue to prepare for what will undoubtedly be a protracted battle. Today in technology, all gunman troops are being armed with a new line of configurable weapons first pioneered by frontier inventors. Soldiers who volunteer to use prototype models in frontline situations give them high marks for their ability to adapt to the changing face of xenome warfare. Weapon facts are working overtime to supply troops with the latest models and plan to continue shipping upgrades and modifications as they become available. Major Archer, your regiment starts training with these weapons today. Next week marks the five-year anniversary of the Battle of Banzer Prime, where the first Xenomes took the lives of two platoons of gunmen and their selfless general. His brave actions allowed a few of the gunmen to escape and spread the first official warnings of the Xenome Plague. Memorial fires are being prepared around the Western Spiral Arm. A veterans organization near the frontier plans on detonating the blue giant Gamma Valkyrie in the general's honor. He always said he wanted to go out with a bag. We think a supernova's only fitting. You were with the general on Banzer Prime, weren't you, Major Archer? If you wish to book passage to the Valkyrie system, Hypercast would be happy to make all arrangements. You have 10 days of discretionary leave at your disposal. Shall I make tentative reservation? Major Archer? Major Archer? Major Archer? Sir, they're waiting for you in the briefing room. I can't leave till I finish this. I'll get to the equipment on the station is wearing out. Must be all the asteroid dust and grit. Attention, men! I have the pleasure of introducing you to this man. One of the few survivors of Banzer Prime. 
He knew the great general personally. The general saved him and the rest of his troops by his glorious self-sacrifice. But the general knew no gunman leaves another gunman behind. It was his duty. What's our mission, sir? We've received a suspicious signal beacon from an uncharted jungle planet. You men have been assigned to investigate and take action. There's a chance that the ones responsible for the Xenome infestation are behind this. You'll be leaving just as soon as the dropships have been prepared. I hope you're ready to kick Xenome ass, just like the General would have. Dismissed! Yes, sir! We've got a few hours. May as well go practice on the firing range till we're ready to go. Another damaged ship is about to dock. Oh, Let's get out of here! <laughs> Excellent! Watch it! Jump over this! Uh-oh! I'm going to have to stay down here and stop this leak. You go ahead and climb up the left. That side is blocked. Get a running start and... Excellent. I don't have clearance to shut off this force field, but you do. We've got to get out of here. The glass is cracked. That should work. Whoa! That looked like a nasty fall. Looks like you're hurt. Look for a medical station to heal yourself with. I'll find Good job. At last! <coughs> the force field came on just in time. <coughs> Too late for Jones, though! <coughs> Are you stuck? Try breaking that vent cover! Hey! This way! It's not safe on that asteroid! It's good, you're safe! I'm going to stay here to watch for more survivors. I hear it's going to take a while to clean this mess up, so feel free to use the firing range to pass the time. Please observe all safety regulations. You will be issued one standard pistol for this station. This target requires rapid fire mode to score. requires rapid fire mode to score. Use your weapon customization key to select the proper setting. Target destroyed. Move to the next target. This target nice requires shot. sniper mode to score. I could have made that shot. Use easy your enough. weapon customization key to select the proper setting. Target destroyed. Move to the next target. This target requires charge hey, mode that wasn't to bad. score. Target destroyed. Move to the next target. This target requires 400 damage points to score. This target requires practice. 400 <laughs> damage points. I always like to relax by blasting a few. <laughs> 400 damage points awarded. Move to the next firing range. 
Return all weapons to the red receptacle. Welcome to the shotgun training course. This target requires 300 damage points within the time limit to score. 300 damage points achieved. Move to the next to the firing range training course. Note that you must overheat your weapon to score. Warning. Overheating can result in wasted ammunition. Achieved. You have cleared the basic weapons range. Something blew these fuses out. It's dark back there. Be sure to use your flashlight. Welcome to the vehicle training course. I know what you're thinking. What good is a tank in space? But it's good to keep your skills sharp. The instructor is waiting over there by the tank. Okay, let's get started. Enter the tank by walking up. Drive the tank to the other side of these crates! Use the strafe keys to turn the tank! The turret has independent press your crouch key to fire the machine gun! The other weapons have been disabled. We are in an asteroid after all. Press the jump key to exit the vehicle! Good job. Let's keep going. Okay, you're ready to start the explosives training course. Today you'll be learning how to use the multiple unit launch engine, or mule. Also, this course will teach you how to use the mule ammunition packs as grenades, in case you find yourself without a launcher in combat. Because of all the explosives, this is a very dangerous range. Because of all the explosives, this is a very dangerous range. So I'm going to leave you to practice on your own. There are plenty of emergency medical kits in case you set off an explosive too close to yourself. I'll be remotely piloting the target drones that you'll be fighting later. Good luck. Welcome to the explosives range. Please observe all safety regulations. You will start by learning to use multiple unit launch engine ammunition packs as grenades. Extreme caution is recommended when attempting to use ammunition packs as trip mines. Remove the nose cone and carefully extract the detonator core. Throw the core at the hologram target. Using your weapon customization key, set the payload to cluster bomb and throw it at the next hologram target. You 
Using your weapon customization key, set the trigger to timed and attempt to destroy the hologram target that is behind the cover. You will now be issued one multiple unit launch engine. Your instructor will control the remainder of this training session. It's time to practice against moving targets. I'm going to release several target drones for you to shoot at. I suggest you use your weapon's customization key to experiment with. Be sure not to use the cluster bomb. I think you'll notice that a homing flight path is best against airborne targets. The spiral flight path mode does double the damage. Timed trigger setting. You can make your mule into a grenade launcher. You can use the trigger when tripped setting to create traps. Practice all you want. Okay, feel free to leave this range when you're ready. You can continue to practice with other weapons now that you've completed the explosives training. Get to grab your armor, sir. Down the hall. Ah, Major Archer, I've been expecting you. Here's your armor. Looks like a good fit. Good luck, sir. Good luck on your mission, sir. Better hurry. The dropships are ready to take off. Welcome aboard, Major Archer. 